I'm gonna break that door one day. Well, you broke it the other. Oh, wait, I broke it the other day. Yeah, yeah, I fixed Damn. it. All right, we're starting today off with a great surprise. I am so excited for this. Check it out, RJ Catch. Huh. Cool. We just got this, and I broke the other one. Don't do that. So I am hyped. So as you guys know, we are playing with the RB25 recently, and uh, so I bought an intake for a Freddy, thinking I might be able to get away with buying a fake part for once, right? They usually work pretty good on the SRs, and well, it didn't work out well for me, but I got lucky and happened to find this. Well, I didn't find it. Someone actually reached out to me, so I can't take the credit. Shout out to them. Interesting. Nice back. wrapping job. Is this right. a pillow piece? Nothing but the best for my guy, Jimmy. Ooh, there it this. is, boys. There it is. No longer Freddy, but a real Greddy. Wow. Check it out. This is it. This is, go on this, side. this is a real Greddy intake manifold for an RB25 and a Q45 throttle body. So there's the magic combo right there. The Florida boys saved the day once again. Uh, homeboy Brandon uh, sold this to me for a really good deal. Uh, and the best part about it is it came with a Q45 throttle body, which is a factory Nissan 80 millimeter throttle body. Wow. It's huge. That's massive. But it looks so fitting on the intake manifold, right? Yeah. Well, so, this thing is beefy. As you can tell, it's super dirty, but we have friends with vapor honers, which means we could, well, take advantage of that and make this thing look brand new again. So I was hoping to do that today, but unfortunately we don't have time for it. So for now, I'm just going to sit here and show it off. I hope you guys just know how excited I am that I actually got this thing. So Brandon, thank you for giving me a good deal on this thing. I, uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, now I don't feel like a cheap bastard. <laughs> look at the quality difference. You can see all the casting marks in this one. All the metal is insanely pitted, and then the machining is just pathetic. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. I feel so official. I feel like a new man. All right, I know it's just an intake manifold, but this means a lot to me, and I'm really excited to get to do this right the first time when it comes to everything. So. Your S13 is a Freddy, right? What? No. Is it? What? No. Uh, so, so today we have a lot of behind the scenes camera stuff to do. Uh, so the video today might be a little sporadic. I don't want to miss a video on you guys. And we got to get some things done. We always got to be productive down here. So uh, it might be a little random, but I still hope you enjoy it. But before we start getting into anything today, I got to do one thing before RJ kills me. Get in the office. Yeah. All right, boys. Out here today cooking with Jimbo. Nah, that wasn't funny. Come on. You're <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is up, guys? So we have some new products. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put it out there, right? We finally got some beanies in. It's a must. It's winter time. Everyone needs these noggins keeping warm. So we got four colors. We got the black uh, with the soft knit, right? Oof. It's good for big heads. Green with the soft knit, and then the red and the black with the typical kind of tight knit, like you know, traditional style beanie. Mm. We have our Oaks hem tags now. These things are sick. I love them. And what's nice is the reversible. So you want to wear it long. Yeah, if you want to wear it like 16-year-old Jimmy would. Yeah. Show us. You gotta crunch it and then you crunch the back. You crunch the back real nice. Yeah. It's a look. I remember a lot of BMX videos of you looking like that. Uh, oh, yeah. So we have a limited batch show. If you guys want to cop one, cop one today. Um, Tucker seems to really love the green one. So, you know, take his word for it. These things are awesome. So if you guys want to <laughs> cop one, uh, cop below, shop Jimmy out. And on top of that, we have one more product. And as you can tell, I'm stunting it right now. The O apron. <laughs> the O embroidery, and then of course the red hem tag. It just looks very fashionable. So if you're cooking, buffing, sanding, sanding. Maybe you're painting. Maybe you're, you're painting. You're Bob Rossin, I don't know. Gotta keep the shirt clean. It's even got, it's got two, two pockets, a pen pocket. Well, I watch really where don't you know stick you your fingers there. there, kid. All right. So if you guys remember, we had the video when Brian was buffing my roof wearing his apron, and we made the joke, and so of course we just had to make a batch. We don't have many. Uh, honestly, we gave probably most of them to our friends. So if you want to cop one, um, Go grab one quick because they're gonna go pretty quick, I think. So. They're gonna disappear. Hop below, shop Jimmy O, cop some merch. And then on top of that, if you guys want any of the uh, existing shirts, uh, a lot of them are on sale because we're trying to clear houses. So, cop them. But I had to go get a haircut. So I'll see you guys back in like an hour. Looking fresh as f. And I'm back. Feeling nice and clean again. So today, uh, I wanted to start off by doing something with the E36 because we haven't touched this car in a really long time. Put the build motor in, we tuned it, made great power, and I parked it. Haven't touched this since. Typical Jimmy Oak story, right? So I ordered something from Poland that's gonna make this actually fun to drive because we made like 600 horsepower. We have puny ass tires on this thing. Car feels a little useless right now. So I ordered something that's gonna help. Once that comes in, we're gonna dive right back into the car and really get it done. But for now, it's just a waiting game. So any E36 guy will tell you the door cards on these things are always an issue. They're always falling out, bubbling up, tearing, getting stuck in the car. 
They're hard to find. The shelf life of these things have completely expired, right? This car's 25 years old and the door cards just didn't hold up to the times. And while I've been trying to find a clean set for this car forever, I finally bought a set a couple months ago. The kid ghosted me, lost a bunch of money, and I'm just over it. I have no door card on that side. This one's trashed. And so I finally gave in and bought something I didn't think I'd ever buy, and that is an aftermarket solution to these freaking door cards. The Hard Motorsports makes one that kind of mimics the OEM door card, right? It's a nice looking piece. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Not bad for a big piece of plastic. My goal is to put these on and hope that I don't regret it. Hmm. So this doesn't have like the OEM push-in clips as you can see. It's just kind of a shell of plastic. Uh, we actually have to attach this to the car a little bit differently than factory. Sheet metal screws. No, RJ. I guess it would work, but no. <laughs> it has a bunch of dimples here. And well, these are our new mounting points. So let's drill these out and uh, start marking where we gotta drill some holes, right? Is there more pieces? Yeah, this is it. Well, there's like a handle and stuff, but this is it. That's it, Donnie. <laughs> That's it. You could add like some fabric if you wanted to, right? Yeah, Get yeah. fancy with I could, it. I could, put some I could put some rhinestones on it, you know. Bedazzle it, Bedazzle man. it? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, Bedazzle. Exactly. Bedazzle. What's that from? The bedazzler. Remember the 90s? You know the great way to make your jeans look fly? <laughs> so my goal here is once these things are mounted up, they don't feel so just plasticky, you know? <laughs> it is tight. You look good. It's I don't feel good. <laughs> Can you see over the steering? No. Like the dash or anything? I, I physically, there's no cushion, but still, that's not gonna do very much for me. <laughs> his, his nose is like even with a steering wheel. I can't see this. That's for the antenna. Antenna, I mean door lock. Yeah, I was like, what antenna are you talking about? Okay, I see it now. Oh, that mean that, honestly. It's not bad, even like the. Door handles not in there too. That's bad. what I'm saying. This it looks a, a lot better in the car. Oh yeah. If, if this had a little trim piece right here. And it does. It does? Yeah, I just haven't put it in yet. Oh. Alright, yeah. I would rather have this than the flat door car. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look so track. Like it's a track door car, but it doesn't look so tracky. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm thinking, boys, is what we do is we riv nut the door. Boom, boom. Actually, does it line up with the OEM hole right there and stuff? Yeah, put that on, yeah. So check this out, right? This OEM hole right here. You see that? Look at that. Lines up perfectly with this. Okay. Drill it out big enough to put a rib nut in it so we can get one in at least and go from there. Put your back in it. There we go. Inserted some threads. Show it off, Donnie. You love that tool. Dude, look how nice that looks. Love that. <laughs> like the downstar hardware, right? Because that shit always looks good. Don't get more official than that. Not bad, right? It's pretty official. I'll take it. So we got one, two, three, four, five more to go. So let's mark these things out, drill them out, rib nut them, and we're good to go. Ship it. It's on. It looks probably, honestly, way better than I thought it was gonna look. I didn't have to drill any holes. It was great. It used all the OEM holes. I just had to drill them a little bigger for the rib nut. And uh, besides that, it all lined up. So it was kind of a brainless of an install. It's, the only thing that I would improve is right here. You can kind of see the top of it. But we were talking about getting like that door tr trim stuff and just shoving it in there. Or, you know, those are the solutions we can think of. But besides that, it doesn't really, once it's bolted down, it doesn't really feel that cheap. That plasticky. If anything, I could put like a strip of foam inside of it and it might help with that. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Yeah, so it comes cool. with um, these right here, these pull tabs, because technically you delete the door handle, right? There's no way to like pull these closed. Um, I want to see how it is without having a door handle on it because usually the window's down, I can kind of just close it by grabbing here or like on the side or something because I prefer to not run this because now this looks like super aftermarket-y where I kind of like the fact that these look OEM. If obviously that's not going to work, that I install them, right? Exactly. So the downstar hardware is honestly a must. It looks so good in there. Cause look at, it oh, look at like a normal bolt right there. That looks horrendous. 
right? We can't be having that. No. <laughs> so I lost, I have this piece of trim right here too. I just lost it, but I think we could use an OEM trim, which would be really nice. So. So I can go on and on about these door cards, but all I gotta say is I'm super impressed. I really like these. Um, this video is not sponsored or anything, but E36 guys, we all go crazy with our door cards, right? OEM ones are expensive, hard to find, and they always fall apart. You know, these things fit great outside the car and, you know, inside the car. You can't beat it. I mean, it still has that, like, plastic sound to it, but there's probably some solutions we could find to it. The Downstar hardware, you gotta get it. It fits perfectly, and it honestly doesn't look cheap. I was really nervous it would look cheap, but I mean, I'm picky and uh, not bad at all. So would suggest to a friend, I'll put the link in the description uh, if you E36 guys want to cop these just because, well, it's a good solution. So there we go. After two and a half years, I finally have a full interior in the car, and honestly, it feels pretty damn good. Well, these guys think if I vapor hole in the intake, it's going to look too nice, right? We're trying, to, we're trying to have this balance of like not redoing everything in the engine bay and so like right the engine looks clean but it doesn't look perfect correct want, if you make something to look too perfect it's going to like kind of overtake everything else we want the patina of 90s <laughs> patina okay okay so we want the patina of 90s patina yes <laughs> that's what we're going with. dj nice. you're always so good with words um <laughs> so i'm thinking before we vapor honing because vapor honing makes everything look like a freaking off the lot um let's try the good old wd-40 that's the third time i've heard that you do that and a scotch bright you put wd-40 on it oh let's give it a rip let's not use wd-40 let's use it sounds like a mess i mean technically WD-40 is a degreaser. I got every detail right in here. You're using... I hate the smell of WD-40. Think about the way your fingers are going to feel when you lay in bed tonight. Yeah. <laughs> this is a stupid idea. <laughs> here, Donnie, you can borrow mine. Yes. Well, at least we know RJ's is going to get dirty somehow. <laughs> I cooked with mine. Tie me up, RJ. Yeah. Just... Oh, yes! Yes! All right, this is getting weird. <laughs> See the time lapse. <laughs> More WD40, baby. Why? You no, she's getting, she's getting dry. Come on, get back in there, boys. You're a psycho, pal. <laughs> what do you want us to do? Arjun's <laughs> like, it's clean. It's clean over here. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. It's not Jimmy. good enough. Jimmy. It's not Jimmy. good enough. It's clean. Real though. Oh, God, old boy, do it right. Stop, DJ. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought we were rinsing it. Not in the middle of the shop. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> it looks great though. It does look really good. The box caught all the water. <laughs> That's a mess, dude. <laughs> Mix with the the WD food. <laughs> Damn, that's a good system. Dude, that looks so good. Look How's at that. that. Oh my gosh. Not bad, right? I'd say like... We could use that water. Honey. Take it. That one's just fucking up all day. You took an extra cup of stupid today. <laughs> you guys are right. Vapor honing would have made this look way too good. This oh, is like yeah. the perfect amount of like... Grunge. Patina. Grunge. Like, I'm saying patina. This thing's got a thousand miles on it. It's what it is. I don't know, man. Patina. I know what patina is. That's patina. Oh, that looks great. Oh, look at that, dude. That's perfect. Mm, that's awesome. And I kind of like how the throttle that body, matches. for some reason, matches the um, valve covers. Oh, yeah, it does. It's like the same exact color and like aged look to it. 
<laughs> but it doesn't look bad. No, now it looks good. Now it doesn't look like it's too much newer than the rest of the merch. Did you wear the aprons at any level? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over this real quick. Oh my god. My feet are soaked, by the way. Yeah, who's fault? Who was in control of the bucket? This guy. So it's also nice, besides the fact that I have a Q45 Auto Body already on here, which is sick. Um, it already has like the coolant ports underneath everything all attached and the IAC and stuff, so I don't gotta really source that. So. Perfect. Yeah, very happy. Nice work, team. Good job, everybody. It was pretty much just Jimmy. <laughs> all right, I got this thing bolted up, feeling official. We got all the lines ran underneath, so the coolant stuff is all good to go. Now the last piece of the puzzle there is I need injectors and a fuel rail. Tommy has a mint zinc coated fuel rail for me, so I'm gonna pick that up this week. And then uh, of course we gotta get some DW injectors in this thing and we'll be good to go. But last piece of the puzzle is the clutch and I wish it was here because if we had the clutch, I could put it in the car and feel like I got a lot done. But I did, I'm really happy. The engine's ready to go. I got my new engine mounts on it. Got the brand new Nismo mounts also on the trans because everyone saw the solid aluminum mount that I had on it and was like ripping me apart like I was actually gonna run that thing. No, we got Nismo mounts, we are good to go. As soon as Clutch shows up, she's going right in and uh, we're right on track to having a really freaking cool car. And I really like how it doesn't look like super brand new and like super over the top. It just looks very nice, very high end, very OEM. I'm a really big fan of it, so. Very happy this is my like first RB experience, you know. A lot of people were like, why don't you just go insane, like, you know, pull the head, build the bottom end, do all that stuff, and, you know, this is my first RB experience. I wouldn't mind going through the cycle of it, right? Getting to enjoy it with some bolt-on pieces like this, and then going from there. It's not like I wanna like waste money by like doing things multiple times, but it's fun to kind of go through the stages of things and get to enjoy them at each stage. And, uh, and going crazy all once isn't always, <laughs> the way to do it. Let's see what these guys are up to. The one, the one that they tagged, right? Or what no? Mean? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Oh, we're signing that, man. Oh, well, if you guys want anything signed, just put it in the notes. Are they saying comments, how actually. not to take the sticker off because people like it? What? No one. You said that. you're the one who said you wanted. I don't like I these. I said I wanted to take it off because it's in my. Comment spot. below if you leave the sticker on your. Are you gonna sign it? No. Sign it. I did. Where? He said no. Where's, where's your signature? Right there. What, that? What is that? What is that? I don't know how to write in cursive, so. It's okay, your signature could be anything. It could be a picture of a smiley face or something. I don't know. Oh, I would do that. Oh, I wish I had known. Great, now I gotta get another hat. Get it. God. Oh, now, you're a I'm, lefty, too. I know. What a psycho. I might be. Oh, then we discovered yesterday that Donald is actually a lefty. I'm a righty. Uh, uh, yeah. No, what, do you use, what do you use your left hand for? Like every Basket, sport? no. Baseball, hockey. And you're calling him the psychopath? He says, no, not every sport. But yes. And this is why I pushed Mongo too, because I'm left. It doesn't make any sense. You're pushing Mongo Ryan and you pushed Mongo! Ryan said Stop it pushing sense. Mongo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're ending it. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. RJ. Have a great night.